Hey guys, it's Mitch here. Today I'm on a shoot with my friend Lisa. We're at the beach right now and it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna be switching it up today, doing things a little bit differently. Shooting on my 24 millimeter 1.4 art lens from Sigma. This is not the normal lens that I would use for a portrait shoot like this. So I'm gonna be comparing it to my 35 millimeter 1.4 from Tamron as well. Should be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. The day before this shoot, we had one of the most amazing sunsets I've ever seen in my life. I was really hoping that we would get another one the following day. However, we didn't quite get the clouds that I was hoping for. My main goal with this shoot was to capture the sunset and also a beautiful portrait of our model, Lisa. I thought that 24 millimeters would be perfect since it captures so much more of the background than your traditional portrait lens. And I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to try out a different lens than usual. I really like the 35mm lens as a portrait lens and as a general purpose lens because it's wide enough to show off the surroundings around your subject if you take a few steps back, but in my opinion, it's long enough to get closer portraits with a fairly minimal amount of lens distortion. It's sort of the perfect trade-off and overall, I just really like the look of the photos you can get with it, especially when you shoot at the most shallow aperture of 1.4. Hold that right there, I'm going to switch to the other lens. All right, I'm going to get Lisa to walk out onto the wet sand and then create sort of like a reflection as well as seeing her footprints in the photo. So, oh shit, and we got a dog and it's just ruined our shot. All right, do you want to go for a walk now? This is good, yeah, yeah. I think that the 24mm lens is perfect for capturing more of the background in your portraits, which is why I think it would be amazing for travel photography when you want to show off the location in the background, but also keep the focus on the subject of the image. Oh, the colors are looking, starting to look really good now. Get out. <laughs> A bit more to your chin. I know it's weird, but it's looking beautiful. And then one looking here. I think it's definitely not for close-ups. The closer you go to your subject, the more that you're going to be elongating the outer edges of the frame. So for portraits, stick to center framing so that you don't exaggerate that effect. Keeping with the theme of the shoot, I wanted to keep it very, very natural and I wanted the photos to almost have this candid feeling to them. So I asked Lisa just to walk up and down the beach, not necessarily looking at the camera the whole time and just really have fun with the posing. Do you want to do like more of a curled up sort of pose, maybe facing towards the ocean a bit more? Since wide angle lenses make the background look further away from your subject, this lens has a really unique look in contrast with a standard telephoto lens, which tends to make the background look closer to the subject. At this point, the sun was really starting to disappear and we began to get some more vibrant colors in the sky and the lighting was very even and very soft. This is a very good example of why you should try to shoot as late in the day as possible. So 
here you can see the difference between the amount of background you're able to show with the 24 versus the 35. A little walk down this way. So I thought it would be really interesting to see what it looked like to do a whole portrait shoot on the 24mm and I gotta say I was pleasantly surprised. It does have its limitations such as not really being able to get super close up photos without adding a lot of distortion, but it's a lot of fun for shoots where you want to bring in more of the background. I think this lens does have a very unique look to it that can be interesting simply because of the fact that you don't really see it much. As always be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and I'll see you in the next video.